Yup, it finally happened. The big announcement we've all been waiting for. No, sadly it is not for Morbius 2. It is, however, for the All-Star program. We have 15 new reveals today. Uh, it feels like Christmas morning. I guess unless you're a Diamondback or a Pirate fan. Everybody else got a, you know, a PS5 under the tree and they received a nice steaming bag of dog excrement at their doorstep. You'll soon see what I'm talking about here. We have big news. We have a lot of stuff to go over today. We have a ton of really exciting stuff. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Let me know some of your favorite all-star cards you're looking forward to. And then with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. But first, a quick word from Underdog Fantasy, who's been kind enough to partner with the channel this season. I've had a ton of fun using their application so far. You wouldn't believe how quick they can turn a snooze fest around to, you know, edge your seat type excitement. All of a sudden, a Tigers-Royals matchup is interesting. Go figure. Uh, you guys can use promo code GONES for a $100 deposit match. I uh, really strongly suggest just throw like a dollar or two on a pick'em slip once a day and add some excitement towards watching these games and you know also make some money in the process so if you guys want a chance to win big here again use my promo code gomes 100 dollars bonus on your first deposit thank you to underdog for sponsoring the channel this season and now let's take a look national league all-stars all 15 of them let's go ahead and get a big reveal at what we've all been waiting for, and that, of course, is uh, Joe Mantiply and David Bednar, uh, who are the only two 95s out of the field. I mean, <laughs> talk about disrespectful. I mean, come on, man. I get it. The teams aren't performing that well, and they're, I don't want to say pity all-stars. Mantiply, yes, but Bednar's been quite good. Come on. Have some shame, SDS. How do you sleep at night? He has a family. Anyway, uh, Mantiply could be decent. He will have a sinker. He's a three-pitch guy. Sinker, changeup, curveball as a lefty reliever. He's going to have slight value. Uh, Bednar is going to have about absolutely zero. He's a great pitcher in real life. However, you know, he's uh, like Mantiply minus the sinker. Uh, replace that with a black four seam, like a soda if you leave it out too long. Yeah, I don't really see too much value for him. Let's get on to the actual all-star cards here. Um, we have Sandy Alcantara, Dansby Swanson, Carlos Rodon. I am really looking forward to Sandy Alcantara. You guys know we've been in this lefty meta for seemingly ages, and finally the Southpaws are taking a sabbatical. Nolan Ryan and Sandy Alcantara in back-to-back -back updates should bring some life back to the righty meta and start making things a little bit more even. I might not have to stack my team full of righties, which is good, you know? It's good to have a balance, as Thanos says, right? Uh, Dansby Swanson, I think, is going to be quite good as... Pio Tim Carver's all right, but this 97, I really look forward to. He's finally coming into that, uh, you know, mold that we all thought he was going to be uh, when he was first drafted, Rodan. Need to give him a sinker. That's the difference between people giving him a shot and him being dead on arrival. Binder dust collector, as you like to say. Alcantara, again, he's going to have outlier sinker. He's going to be one of the best pitchers in the game. We are going to do a tier list and a ranking video for all of these new cards, which I'm really looking forward to. Again, let me know as we go on here some fan favorites that you guys have. Uh, we see Corbin Burns. Back-to-back -back righties that are going to be on everybody's team. Sinker cutter combo for Corbin, and I say this with my chest held out and full confidence before I see one attribute. Because their cards always are so damn good, and even though he's Castile, I know, you know, people might not put too much stock in it because he's wearing a red C on his hat right there as a red card. It can't be good. Although he could be wearing a red red cap with a TC. A Twins jersey might be in his future. Who knows? Um, God knows that rotation needs help. He could be good. He's a four-pitch guy, maybe five if they're very generous here for this card. Um, but he should be good. He's been good in the past. Uh, and, of course, has that sinker and circle changeup combo that really works well for him. Wilson Contreras, Juan Soto, Bryce Harper. Now, Contreras, it could be okay. Uh, he seems to me like he's going to be more of a platoon catcher. He's going to crush lefties and... 
not be so reliable against righties, but they could fabricate things here. Lord knows they're already doing such, having Joe Mantiply in 95. Maybe that was it. They couldn't possibly, within their their own morals, bringing up any higher to a 95. And that's no hate. That, I'm just being realistic. I, I love Joe Mantiply. I'm sure he's been great and going to lead the Diamondbacks to a clinching of fifth place this season. Juan Soto and Bryce Harper. Here is where we get interesting now they're both going to be a hell of a lot better hitters than they are defenders on the bright side harper should have high 60s low 70s speed i worry about juan soto they clearly don't realize or emphasize speed on these outfielder cards which it is very important if you don't play at a little league ballpark if you don't play at a blank canvas it's tough to use somebody like your Don Alvarez. We saw him with, what, negative 14 speed? It's hard to actually get those guys to have more value than, oh, you know, he'll make it up at the plate. That being said, they're going to mash the ball. Juan Soto in particular, he's going to have insane attributes, and he's also going to get a home run derby card. Bryce Harper, very balanced this year. I really look forward to that one. Paul Goldschmidt, I'm convincing myself more and more. This could be a Frank Thomas killer. On his live series card, he is 125, pretty much max contact against lefties, 100 plus power. If he is like 125, 115, and then even like 105 contact and 95 to 100 power against righties, this is going to replace Frank Thomas. He has a great swing. I would love to see that card really get hot. Same thing as CJ Crone. We could see a very good card for him. Maybe give him a, you know, the Coors boost. But hey, he deserves it. Uh, Tony Gonsolin, I'll be honest, unless they give him a sinker like they did on his finest card in 20. Going to be a rough card. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tough to use based off his live series currently. Machado is always a fan favorite. I'm glad to see that he got the pick over Musgrove. Um, and, you know, there's different ways to look at this. We did get a lot of our predictions right. There's also Edwin Diaz right there, who there was more Mets that I would rather have gotten it, to be honest with you. Um, but, oh well. Is what it is. Uh, he is a three-pitch guy, four-seam, two-seam slider. I will say in that two-seam action for him, his arm slot makes it kind of sinker-esque. You'll see some guys throw a two-seamer, as we like to say. It ends up being flatter than a Kardashian's ass before a flight book to Dr. Miami. He should be not so bad. It's going to be a usable pitch at the very least. But, of course, you would rather have that sinker action. Um, but, yeah, you know, we did predict most of these right we have the american league predicted too if you want to check out that video um but that being said a lot of these were guaranteed did not really to you know, suck my dick that hard here wasn't too much of an accomplishment to guess like the diamondbacks all-star wow uh, got a crystal ball right here i guess to get that one right um let me know again what cards are your favorite if i have to pick five out of this group here that i really want to get because again I would presume you are only going to be able to choose 12. They're all sellable, but they should go for pretty cheap on the marketplace. Uh, of course, Sandy and Corbin Burns, those are going to be added to my rotation for sure. A Randy, Ryan, Alcantara, Burns, and a fifth starter, maybe Sale, maybe Fernando. That rotation is going to be nuts, and those cards besides Randy and Nolan are basically all free. Um, I look forward to Bryce Harper a lot, Paul Goldschmidt, and... I think the Luis Castillo could be pretty damn good. Same thing as the Manny Machado. Um, there's a lot of good cards here. I think they have a lot of heavy hitters. And that is going to lead into this part where we talk about a potential collection. Now, first disclosure, nothing has been confirmed. However, we can take an educated guess. There is, of course, going to be live content. Home Run Derby, All-Star card, same night or... Maybe not same night, you know, if it drops like 2 a.m. like it did last year, <laughs> I guess it isn't same day. False advertising there, Sony. Uh, but I would imagine we're going to see a collection for this based off those cards that are going to come in packs day after. And, uh, you know, these different cards from Team Affinity, the new featured program. So it's something to think about as far as that. I would maybe recommend you start getting that stub bank up a little bit if you're looking forward to that of course last year we saw the Shohei Otani there is the Prince Fielder in there I really imagine that they're going to have some kind of big collection we haven't seen one since George Brett so 
it is not too hard to believe that it's going to be coming into fruition right here. Something to consider is uh, these Home Run Derby X cards. That is going to be an interesting part. They're starting to drop in price, which is good. They were going for a metric shit ton, you know, based on how good the cards are for a while. Even Johnny Gomes, for some reason, goes for 21000 I can't really make heads or tails of that one right there, but would you need these cards? Probably, but don't buy them. I would think that there's going to be a pack somewhere in the new featured program, so if you're getting ready for a collection, don't go and spend 24k on a Johnny Gomes, because I do not think that you'll need to, but keep that in mind. We'll keep you guys updated as time goes on here, and hopefully we see some big stuff. Again, this is all dropping Monday. It's Saturday today. It's pretty soon uh, that we're going to get all this content. I, I always say, this is where Diamond Dynasty gets its most fun you know, everybody's around in the community, ready for the excitement of these cards. It's, you know, starting to be kind of the summer send-off, right? Where, you know, school, I, I hate to say it, I started to see the Target ads, you know, those pencils are starting to go on sale. So, one last hoorah, I suppose, for some of you. Uh, and it's going to be a great time. I'm really looking forward to all-star content. We're going to be streaming during it, and of course, going to have a ton of videos on the channel. Like I said, a full every card tier list is coming probably during the week on Wednesday, uh, or Tuesday rather, and then, um, you know, we're going to have a ranking of all 30 of these cards. We await the extra 15 from the American League, which I would imagine we will see tomorrow. So I think that's going to do it. Again, let me know in the comment section down below some favorites that you guys are looking forward to with these brand new 15 National League cards, and I am very excited. Leave a like if you guys enjoy, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel, and thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. There goes some out and yeet.